simplify 1 plus tangent x divided by 1 plus cotangent x. In this short presentation, we'll simplify this expression 1 plus tangent x divided by 1 plus cotangent x. We'll solve it algebraically and later with the use of a given right triangle. First, we'll look at solving algebraically. Starting out with 1 plus tangent x over 1 plus cotangent x, we'll expand by the use of two related trigonometric identities. We'll use the tangent identity, and the tangent identity is tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. And we'll use the related cotangent identity, which is the cotangent of theta equals the cosine of theta over the sine of theta. And using these identities, we'll replace tangent x with sine x over cosine x. And we'll replace cotangent x with cosine x over sine x. And here's the expression with the tangent x and cotangent x replaced according to these two identities. We have 1 plus sine x over cosine x in the numerator and 1 plus cosine x over sine x in the denominator. Next we're going to go about simplifying the numerator by creating a common denominator. What we'll do is use our knowledge that anything divided by itself equals 1 and set 1 equal to cosine x over cosine x. And we'll then be able to replace 1 with cosine x over cosine x in the numerator. And we'll use our knowledge that sine x divided by sine x is also equal to 1. And we can also achieve a common denominator in the denominator by replacing 1 with sine x over sine x. So here it is with our common denominators in place in both the numerator and the denominator. And now using the common denominators we found for both the numerator and the denominator, we bring up to the top right cosine x plus sine x over cosine x in the numerator and sine x plus cosine x over sine x in the denominator. And using the knowledge that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by x reciprocal, we have quantity cosine x plus sine x over cosine x times sine x over quantity sine x plus cosine x. Next, quantity cosine x plus sine x divided by quantity sine x plus cosine x cancel to equal 1. And bring down what's left, we have sine x over cosine x. And going back to the tangent identity we used earlier, we know that sine x over cosine x equals tangent x, which we box in below as our answer and place it also beside our original expression 1 plus tangent x over 1 plus cotangent x. If a purely algebraic solution is what you were looking for, you might want to stop here. But for the remainder of this video, I would like to feature a solution by my son, pre-calculus student g Dog Jr. I thought his solution interesting because while not being able to come up with the algebraic solution just presented, he showed initiative and resourcefulness worth noting and I want to show you his method of solution. He started his solution by drawing a right triangle, and to make the arithmetic quite simple, he chose a 3-4-5 right triangle like the one shown at the right, and labeled the angle x. And using this triangle, the tangent being the opposite over the adjacent side, tangent x equals 4 over 3. And accordingly, its reciprocal, cotangent x, is the reciprocal of 4 thirds, which is 3 fourths. What he did next was to replace tangent x with 4 thirds, and cotangent x in the denominator with 3 fourths. And here it is with the substitutions made. We have 1 plus 4 thirds in the numerator and 1 plus 3 fourths in the denominator. And to create a common denominator in the numerator, we rewrite 1 as 3 over 3. And to create a common denominator in the denominator, we rewrite 1 as 4 over 4. And adding the fractions, that leaves us with 7 thirds in the numerator and 7 fourths in the denominator. And since dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, we have 7 thirds times 4 sevenths. And 7 over 7 cancel to equal 1, and we're left with the fraction 4 thirds. And where do we see 4 thirds? Up here, tangent x. So we therefore know that our solution to this simplification is tangent x, which we again box in as correct. I thought this solution was interesting, and thought you might like seeing where a different path of logic might take you. This has been simplify 1 plus tangent x divided by 1 plus